This is High Yield MCAT here today to talk about dishabituation, the surprisingly high yield MCAT topic. Dishabituation can also be called dehabituation. And our first question that we're going to ask today that is it really high yield? And surprisingly, the answer to that question is yes. And that's based off of what we consider our overlords, or quote unquote overlords, in the MCAT, which is double AMC makers of the exam. They include this topic uh, surprisingly often in their practice materials. So let's jump into what exact, exactly dishabituation is. Well, in my own words, it's when someone that has gotten used to a stimulus, so habituation has to already have occurred, experiences a sim somewhat similar but distinct sharp stimulus that makes them more conscious of the first stimulus they were habituated to. So the big takeaway from this is that it requires habituation to already have occurred. And despite its name, it actually increases the response to a stimulus. So dishabituation might sound like you're not responding to that stimulus as much anymore, but you're actually dishabituating to it, so you will notice that stimulus even more. Let's look at an example of this. So you're studying in your dorm room and the bass from your speakers in your neighbor's room was previously annoying, but now you don't notice it. However, all of a sudden you hear a loud slam of a door from another room and that makes you more conscious of and annoyed by the bass from the speakers. So dishabituation is a very bad thing because you're noticing that original stimulus that you habituated um, when you were studying. So not a good thing for studying. It might be a good thing though for evolution. So one evolutionary explanation for di dishabituation is that we need to notice new stimuli and the presence of a new stimulus might mean that the original stimulus is more important than we thought and that we shouldn't become too habituated to it. Now, moving on, how will I see it in a passage on our actual MCAT exam? So here we have a passage excerpt of a potential experimental study. Subject A completed the task with a constant bell chime. At the two minute mark, a sharp ringing replaced the bell chime. A significant reduction in task performance was noted at this two minute mark. So this is pretty exemplary of what you might see in a passage that has been adapted by the double AMC because they adapt real scientific experiments to ask you questions on. So I'll give you a little bit um, a time to think about this passage question. So hopefully you picked answer B, which is probably no surprise. Dishabituation occurred with the sharp ringing causing this subject to realize that constant bell chime all the more. So habituation had already occurred at this point and then at the two minute mark the sharp ringing made the subject realize or become more conscious of this constant bell chime. Uh, and that's kind of the reduction in task performance, just like we would see a reduction in studying ability in the example that we gave previously. Now, if you don't recognize these other answers, I highly recommend you go through um, other videos and review these because these are all real things. Sometimes the MCAT will throw in some fake answers, but these are all real answers, so definitely go back and take a look at those. So that's it for dishabituation. Uh, leave any questions in the comments and feel free to like and subscribe to more videos on only high yield MCAT topics.